the next participant, Rob Berreu. Uh, he is a MED student in the department of EDCP. Becoming and feel and reciprocality, complex education and a student perpetuated mathematics classroom community. Imagine a mathematics classroom where students are apt and, and flexible problem solvers, where the overriding a sense of healthy competition was a feeling of community and support, and where students work to sustain the community that I've just described. This might seem like a fiction because of the anxiety and the anxiety that people feel with mathematics, um, but it is achievable. My research question concerns the role that a teacher can play in encouraging the development of a self-sustaining learning community. Our research begins with complex instruction, which is an approach out of Stanford University that encourages teachers to structure roles and tasks, not so that students divide up the work, but so that they delegate, that so that del authority is delegated to them. So that temper, that you can temper the status differences among the students in those group situations. And students can come to value their own and others' perspectives. It also goes through the lens of complexity thinking, where we, which views the classroom as a complex unity that's adaptive and emergent, where there's a focus on facilitating neighbor interactions, but where the neighbors are not necessarily the students, but the students' ideas. It's a very small but subtle difference. And it's this, my research studies the case of Railside, which is an ethnically diverse school in Southern California where teachers used complex instruction in their mathematics classes. Students reported not only doing better in school and enjoying mathematics more, but seeing that power and that, and that beauty of mathematics that so many math teachers yearn to provide for students. Not only that, but students learned to ways specifically to support one another and to sustain that learning community in, that, in those classrooms. I'm not suggesting a one-size-fits-all miracle cure. I'm not suggesting that all teachers need complex instruction and to look at education through the lens of complexity thinking. But something magical happened at that school, Railside, and it's worth investigating. And I'm hoping that my research will be able to offer teachers some insight into being able to encourage community in their classrooms. And as my supervisor, Cynthia Nichols, said, for mathematics to be that which students gather around. Thank you.